for another series so let's see what we will build in this series so we have this figma design uh, this is actually a uh, movies app ui design and this is what we will be building and this is just two page app but there is more to than just a ui design uh, in this series we will also work on the backend for this api like integrating the rest api into the app and trying to fetch the trendings movies from the apis and maybe trying to search for the apis try to get the reviews for the api from the api so for the api portion uh, i will actually focus or will try to use this tmdb api previously known as imdb i guess and we will actually utilize their uh, i guess top rated or trending movies api and then we will try to search for the movies and then try to get the reviews and try to get the genres for the movies so so that's that's what we will be building in this series i will share this figma design with you and i already have created this basic project and it's just a simple project brand new i just added few resources that we need uh, we have these icons that we need in the app. We can actually use the SF symbols. That's that's fine But I like to use the icons also from the Figma design. So I have already added them and then we have these colors that uh, and if we need uh, I think if, if, it, if required we can add colors in future but these are the possible colors we will use in the app and then I have already created the folder structures. There is this feature folders that other has this base folder, and we have the extensions for the colors, and then we have the extension for the images so that we can easily utilize the images. And you may notice that I have one image that is utilizing the system name something. So it's like uh, th these are the images from the assets, and these are the SF symbol and I actually like to put them together into a single place we can directly utilize this into the UI but in future if we decided to use a different icon so it's easy to replace in a single place and that's that's all for these assets and if you wonder how to create the second assets file it's very simple you just have to add a new file and then you can actually search for it here and here is this the is the catalog asset catalog I actually like to separate the images and the colors so that's why we have two files in here but it's up to you you can add them in a single file as well and and yeah so I will actually share these assets asset colors and the extension for them with you so you can easily integrate into your initial project and for the font, uh, we will actually use the poppins because this fonts, I hope it's poppins the pronunciation. So this uh, UI is utilizing the poppins, so I have already downloaded. And so let's start adding the font. Uh, I actually selected these six. You can add uh, because I have added all the fonts into the resources that I will be sharing with you. So if you want more. More, more of these fonts you can add them but I, I, I think these six are enough for us so we just have to uh, move them into our Xcode project just uh, make sure that you have added them to the target and then we can also verify it by going to the build phase not general normally it's at the general tab but you can go to the build phases and verify that you have the I can the sorry the fonts in here as well. So we have the font now. The next step in the process to add the font is to add a key into this info tab. So we can add a new key in here, and it's fonts provided by application. And let's add it. This is actually an array. So 
we will add i think we have six fonts so we need six items in here so the first item is just make sure the names are correct in here so it's poppins hyphen black dot ttf yeah and then we have this bold dot ttf i guess this is the file extension we can just refer yeah it's double ttf okay double tf and then we have this light and then we have medium and then we have this regular and in the last we have this semi board okay great so now we have the fonts setup now we just need uh, let's just have first few things we, we need a new group for the utils and in this we will add a new file this will actually be our file for the fonts so just name it as poppins and we need an enum in here just conform to string and then we just need to add like uh, all of the fonts with the enum you can add like maybe we can have like on the single line black bold light medium regular semi bold so this is actually the font i would say the font type or something like yeah these are like you can have the black version of the poppins semi bold anything so another thing we need in here is the font name so this is this will be like a computed property so we, we we need this full form of the poppins like poppins hyphen and then we can have the current selected value as capitalized so let's just say if you have selected the black so it will be five and half hyphen black so if you have selected semi bold it will capitalize it to semi bold so that that's how it should work and yeah so we need extension for the view we already have created the file let's just extend it so it should be swift ui because view is in the swift ui and then we need to extend it for for the font so we will simple simply have a method for fonts and it will actually accept the font type that is the enum that we just created and then we need the size for the font and if by default we haven't provided any size then we will just utilize the 14 and then we just need to return the view so here we just have to set the font dot custom okay it's not recognizing it so self dot font custom and for the name we already set it the this variable and for the size we need to pass the size so so that's it that's how we will be utilizing the font so uh, the use case will be like if you have a view maybe like this text so you can further then have your font like this and you can maybe do like this medium 18 something that's how we will be utilizing these forms uh, we just need two uh, two more extensions so first is for the ui application this is for because we will be working with the uh, we will be working with the search bar so we need a way to you know close the keyboard after user has cancelled the search bar or already search it so we need to have this n editing method so 
you just need to send the action selector and you see UI responder dot design first responder and then it's still for the rest yeah and then we need another extension this is for the optional string uh, I think the name should be optional because it will be for optional string and not just the normal string so let's just name it file name should be optional so here we will have extension for optional where wrapped value is string we just add uh, a variable here so we will just check if if self is empty okay if cell is null then we will just simply return empty string and if self is not null then we will return self so the use case for is is again very simple let's just say we have a string maybe like name and that's something optional so if you want to print it you can then just use this string value so now you won't get any compiler or any error that is optional you need to unwrap or wrap it so you just have to use the string value and if it's null it will just return the empty string value so that's it for this video uh, okay so we have to use the else here okay so that's it for this video see you in the next one